Hello, welcome to this presentation. Today I'm going to take you through part 2 on how to import x, y coordinates, I mean coordinates, to Tecla structures. In part 1 we had done that and uh, today we want just to move further beyond uh, the coordinates coordinates x y coordinates importation into Tecla structures and uh, as I explained before the route was way back from Excel AutoCAD then we imported to to Tecla structures rescale it and fit it into your already created grid now here is where we left and if we, we go to view we can uh, switch to top view if I hover my cursor on top of this grid you'll be able to see actually what we imported from uh, the AutoCAD these are the points these are the points now after importing these you can use these as a benchmark in creating your abutments and uh, wing walls for your bridge now today i want just to show you on how to lay down your beams or girders on this on, on top of these abutments also today we'll try to create abutments and uh, wing walls that's all about today then we'll move to part three of this presentation now from here this this one was just a dimension extended to this and uh, to, to this part it might confuse you as as part of the abutment which is not now from here i'll go to edit i'll come to line there i'll pick line I'll use this corner, I'll click on that corner and direct my cursor and place it somewhere there. I need an offset of 3.45. I'll go ahead and accept that. And remember the first time you're creating a line, it will have an extension of, of maybe a thousand or one meter. You reduce that to zero zero to zero zero, no extension at all. I had already done that. Now, after after um, typing the 345 offset, I'll click on that, right click and click copy and pick it from that spot. I'll run all the way to the other edge of the abutment. I'll click there and come to edit again and pick line. I want to join these two lines to this end. I'll join it like that and do the same thing the other end but instead of doing this that uh, the redrawing the lines i'll just come here and click that press ctrl and click this and click that right click i'll pick it from that spot and take it all the way to the other edge of the abutment and click it there now i'll go back to line and join the two points not accurate. I'll join the two points from that spot to that spot. The reason why I'm placing this uh, where the midpoints of the gutters are. I mean the midpoints are where the gutters or the beams or the decks are anchored on top of the abutment. Now from here, I'll just go straight away and start laying my steel gutters. I'll go to steel, I'll pick that and snap select beam. The midpoint of this, I want to start it from this spot. It's not actually snapping at the spot of my preference. The reason being is this is not enabled. Just come here and who we are on top of that and you'll get the information that snap to intersection points exactly what you want i'll activate that and the moment i go back i'll be able to snap on that spot and exactly the spot i intended to click on 
Now I'll go all the way to this end. But normally when you're purchasing these beams, normally they are about they're normally sold in 12 meters a piece. Now uh, I'll use in to, to 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 reduce the wastage. One side one side I'll use 11800 and uh, the rest I'll add to reach this end. Now I'll just place my cursor somewhere here and type 11800 11800 just go ahead and type 11800 I'll go here and click OK. And prior to uh, go doing anything else I want to change this member to universal beam 19 9 I mean 940 914 I'll come to under 914 category and pick the last one I'll go ahead and accept everything there and modify this and apply now from here I'll now feed the rest of the length just from here to here I'll go back to beam assuming the uh, the tecla has picked this size of the beam as my default now i'll go back there and snap at the end of this then and run all the way to this end and just snap there now if i go back to, to isometric view i'll switch to 3d you will notice that the beam is below our grid which is not right what we're going to do we're going to highlight on that we go to click on that press control and click on that no double click on the last and come to position and switch this to behind give this front perfect and apply we are done with that. Now we can go back to the plan view. We'll come to steel, steel beam, and start all the way from this port again and direct to our cursor to that end and type 11800 again and accept that. Again, we'll come back there and we just do the same thing and snap there. Now, since this and this are alternating and uh, they are of the same size, I'll just go ahead and highlight that, right click and click copy. I'll copy it from this spot and run all the way to this end and snap it there and snap the last one here now I'll come to the second one I'll right click and click copy and snap right at the end of this and copy it right there now if I switch back to my isometric view I'll be able to see this the beams or the gutters have been laid properly and in line. Now this is how you use your coordinates right from the Excel taken to AutoCAD then uh, you import them to Tecla structures use them as a guideline to create your bridge deck like this. Perfect. I will not go further because I want you to get this slowly by slowly and get everything right. Now, I'll briefly go on how you can create these abutments. We'll just go to, uh, to, we'll go to slab, snap right at the corner there, run all the way to this end and run all the way to, to this end again just close that that end 
snap there snap come all the way to this end snap here and link up with your initial spot link up with your initial spot there is not detecting our spot now I'll skip that I'll come to the slab again and redo it I'll snap right there as my first spot I'll come and snap right there and all the way to every corner yeah zoom closer and link it zoom close and link that zoom close and link that and link that come all the way to this end and close it up like that now if I double click on this I'll come to concrete slab properties and give this a height of 7 meters or 10 meters I mean 10 meters let's go ahead and click modify apply and accept I'll come to view just to check on what might have gone wrong not actually nothing has gone wrong I'll switch back to my view and do the same thing at this end I'll come to concrete pick that slab I'll come all the way and snap right here I'll snap there snap there run all the way to this end and go all the way to that to the other end join it up with that end that end snap at that corner and run all the way and complete your movement somewhere here it's not detecting so you just go all the way and redo it snap there snap here and right there is not really covering is not linking up zoom closer click there click there and finalize it here no no not finalizing just proceed click there then there then there come here and finalize it here it's not picking up properly but we'll do it until it accepts our line is here let's run zoom it closer our line is there zoom it closer our line is here right there zoom closer to exact point it's not there zoom closer to exact point link it there do the same thing as you move on finish it there come to this end make sure you, you hit on the exact corner of the abutment come all the way to this end and snap here run all the way to the other end make sure you hit on the first spot right there expand that 
Now, if I switch back to my my isometric view, I'll be able to see this. Now, turn this round. This is is this is our abutment. This is our abutment and the wing wall. Perfect. And turn this round. Now below it we have the foundation. And these are trimmable. Thanks a lot for watching this video. Let's meet on the next presentation. And bye bye. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more tutorials on Tecla structures.